We grew up skiing all over the mountain. We'd skied every run at Snowbird by the time each of us were four. My parents had taught us how to go all over the mountain and how to watch out for like basically how not to get hit. They lined out all these rules, they taught us how to ski in the mountain, and then they let us free. Okay, go get on the chair. You know, they trusted us to make good choices, and that was kind of a theme our whole life, but the mountain is where we got to have our freedom. Make good choices. Do you make good choices? <laughs> you know, when you're an aspiring teenager and you get to like do your own thing and just be you and not have authority, not have all these rules, like that was free skiing for us. And I think that's why we had such a passion for it. And you've sustained that the whole time. And it's changed for me now that it became my profession and I was like expected to ski a certain way. I never had the same relationship to the process that you did. It's almost like you found this element of how to sustain something, how to sustain happiness, how to sustain in your methods, in your processes, in the way that you go about everyday life. And for you, living and breathing skiing and your fitness is like an example to the world of that, which is so cool. I spent so many years chasing what I thought was a successful career that all came from external factors, like winning a big award or you know, a breakout movie segment. But what I think I'm most proud of is the fact that I've never really had that, because I think what I've found is just that I do love the process of it. And that I just, I love skiing every day. And my success actually comes from enjoying every day on snow. And that's gonna like bring me the long-term happiness that I might not get from the perfect segment or, you know, winning that award or whatever it may be. Yeah, it's funny because I have had a lot of success with my ski career, but that's not what brings me fulfillment in it. Like, I really enjoy being able to be creative with picking out lines and especially the connecting moments in the mountains. Those deep connections out there having these experiences is what brings me the most joy. Do you think that is why Alaska was such a staple for you, is because of the exposure and the terrain you're in and the connections you have to make with the team? I never would have thought that the reason why Alaska is where I thrived is because it's of paramount importance that you have really good, deep connections with your team members. But I totally think that you're right. Like, I, I think that I really was able to use those connections as fuel and fodder to learn quickly, you know? And like building good relationships with our mentors like Ian and Sage, everything hinged on that. And the quality of the relationship and their willingness to like share and the quality of connection that came from there and like that was essential. It's really kind of crazy how many different ways we can find success and joy and happiness and that it means different things to all of us.